every month we talk about the new movies that are announced uh, from Criterion. Criterion announced uh, new titles that are coming in January, and I thought I would go over them right now with you. Uh, they announced five different packages, uh, totaling, I believe, six movies, and I'll just go over them now with you. The first movie that they announced was The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. I thought this was already a Criterion movie, but apparently not. I don't know if this was uh, released during their VHS or Laserdisc disc days, but I, I could have sworn they had a DVD of this. But apparently they didn't, and it is coming January 3rd. This is the film by Terry Gilliam. Uh, this was a notorious box office bomb, if I recall correctly. But it has gained a devoted following. Uh, when it comes to Gilliam's films. So if you like movies like Brazil or Time Bandits and you haven't seen this film, you might want to pick it up because Gilliam, I like Gilliam a lot, actually. I'm not a fan of his most famous work, which is uh, A Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that movie, really. But there are people who are, and I get it. And if you are interested in any of Gilliam's films, that might be one to pick up. The next one is Imitation of Life, uh, the film by John M. Stahl. I know Imitation of Life was also remade by Douglas Sirk later on, but they're doing the original film. I, and this one was with Claudette Colbert, uh, actress that I loved in uh, It Happened One Night. So there's that. I gotta be honest. I, I've heard of this film and I'm interested in watching it. I just don't know much about it. I know the Douglas Sirk film pretty well. I guess in that aspect, I'm kind of interested in this movie. Uh, this comes out January 10th. January 17th, Lars von Trier's Europe Trilogy. Lars von Trier is interesting with me. Um, I have been endlessly fascinated uh, with him. And I've seen... Bits. I, I've seen stuff on his films and what they're about, and I've always been interested. But the, his subject matter and the way he does it, I have been told, can be so disturbing and so unsettling. It's kind of hard to watch. I've heard. Uh, I've heard people specifically tell me uh, about Dancer in the Dark and what happens at the end of that movie and how utterly devastating it is like he, he's one of these filmmakers that when he does a film like you have to mentally prepare yourself in advance I, when i went to, when i watched requiem for a dream for the first time uh, a few years ago i was prepared because after that immediately i watched a disney film i was like all right Palette cleanser. <laughs> so th that's kind of how I prepare uh, with those types of films. Uh, it's the Europe trilogy, and it's uh, the element of crime, epidemic, and Europa is what's being released on uh, the 17th as a box set. It's a Blu-ray box set, not 4K. Some people are disappointed by that, but oh well. Next one. This is not a burial. It's a resurrection Directed by, oh my god, I'm going to butcher this poor person's name. Uh, directed by Lima Hang Jeremiah Moses. This is hailed from the country of Lesotho? My god, I have not heard of this movie. I have not heard of this director. And I haven't even heard of the country where he's from. But that's fascinating. Okay. Apparently, in 2009, this did really well in the in the uh, the festival circuits. That's all I've heard about this. And I'm looking at some of the photos of the movie right now. It looks interesting. It, it does look interesting. But I gotta be honest, I have never heard of this movie. But that's also what I, I like about the Criterion Collection. Because, yes, there are movies that I'm going to be very familiar with that I will want to pick up. But they also have these types of films that I, I have never heard of but sound interesting. 
So that's something to look forward to. I, I we'll see. We'll see if I uh, jump on that one. And the final film that they announced uh, for January is Bergman Island, directed by Mia Hudson Love. I've heard about this film. Uh, and basically, it's a story about a woman who visits the island of uh, I- Igmar Bergman, where Igmar Ber- or Bergman has lived for, I don't know the entire story, but I've heard it's good. And I- I've heard it's also pretty respectful to... Igmar Bergman as well, to a certain extent. And me being an Igmar Bergman fan, I, I, I would have thought I probably would have seen this already, but sadly I haven't. It stars uh, Mia Wasikowska, I think is the name. And I think this also had Tim Roth in this. I've heard good things. I, I've actually heard good things about this movie. So I'm interested. Uh, hopefully this will get on the Criterion channel so I can check it out. Otherwise, these movies are coming out in January, and look forward to that when it happens. Uh, 